Hi, this is Michael Rubin, and uh, we've been working on the G major scale on a C harmonica. So I'm going to start on two draw, go up to ten blow, come back down to one blow, and back up to G, my lowest tonic, two draw. Now, that's the G major scale on the C harmonica. But I hope that by now most of you understand that if I pick up any harmonica, I can also get a major scale by moving my mouth over the same tablature. So here's a G harmonica. Now I'm going to start on two draw, go up to ten blow, back down to one blow, back up to two draw. Now, I'm pretty sure you can hear that what I played on the C harmonica was higher in pitch than what I played on the G harmonica. They both sounded like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, but they were in different keys. Yet I moved my mouth over the exact same holes in, in the exact same breath pattern. The harmonica changed the key for me, moving to a C, from a C harmonica to a G harmonica changed the key. But the tablature, the holes, blowing, drawing, bending, overblowing, that all remained the same. And it still sounded like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. But on my G harp, it is no longer the G major scale. It's the D major scale. So it's the same tab. Now, how did I know it was the D major scale? because I thought about the relationship from a C harp to the key of G as a D, excuse me, as a G harp is to the key of X. And I came up with D because I said a C harp goes up keyboard notes to C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, seven keyboard notes higher. A G harp goes up G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, to the key of D. But another way that I could do it is to look at the circle of fifths. Now I'm not going to pull up the circle of fifths for you because it's a, it's, it's a bear to annotate the circle of fifths, I'm telling you. But um, just as a reminder, if you started at the midnight spot of the circle of fifths, treat it like a clock, C's at the midnight spot, G's at the one o'clock spot, and D's at the two o'clock spot. So if a C harp moves from the first position key, C, at the midnight spot, clockwise one time to the G, the second position spot, or the one o'clock spot, then if I started at the one o'clock spot, G, and moved clockwise one time, I would get to D. So C is to G, a C harp is to the key of G, as a G harp is to the key of D. Okay, so we're going to get back to the key of G on a C harp, and uh, we're going to do some jamming. But before we do, I want to think about it as if it were a, uh, as if we were harmonica players and not theory guys. Okay, so harmonica players think in terms of tablature. So I want to think about the blow notes, the draw notes, where the bends are. I want to make an inventory, reminding me of what notes are guaranteed to sound good. That's the purpose of a scale. If you're going to play a song in the key of G major and you're going to use a C harmonica, the notes in the G major scale are guaranteed to sound good. It doesn't mean you can't play other notes. You can play anything you want. Music is subjective. If you like it, it's good. But those G major notes are guaranteed to sound good. So let's think about it like a harmonica player would. Let's start by thinking about the blow notes. Without bending, are there any blow notes that are not in the scale? Well, all the blow notes on a C harmonica are C, E, G, and repeats. So, every one of those notes is in the 
G major scale. There's a C in the G major scale, there's an E, there's a G. So the answer is all of the blow notes are in the G major scale. As long as you're not bending or overblowing, they're in the scale. This is really good news. It means that you can play any blow note without bending or overblowing and you're going to sound good. Now, some of you may be looking at the tablature and saying, well, I don't see three blow. I see one blow, two blow, four blow, but I don't see three blow. I want you to remember three blow and two draw are the same note. So even though for my G note I chose to write down two draw in my tablature, three blow is the same note. Therefore, I can play three blow and it's going to sound good. Now let's look at the draw notes. From holes one through ten, without bending, without overblowing, are there any draw notes that are not in the G major scale? Well, one draw is D, two draw is G, three is B, four is D, five is F. There's no F in the G major scale. There's an F sharp. Therefore, you should not be playing five draw during a song in G major unless you want to take a risk. Now sometimes those risk notes are the best sounding notes. Plenty of songs when I'll play, it's a mostly major song, but I'll throw in uh, an F note, five draw, at the right time, and it sounds great. But it's not guaranteed to work. It's a risk. Are there any other Fs on the harmonica? Nine draw. So you need to avoid not five draw and nine draw. And also, two double bend is an F note. Now a lot of people who have trained themselves to play harmonica by playing blues have learned to love the sound of two double bend. <coughs> two double, two draw, right? We use it all the time in blues because it's a bluesy note. But we're not about to play blues. We're playing major. Major is different than blues. And two double bend is often too harsh for, blue, for major. Now, again, it's a risk note, and if you play it and you like it, good. Okay? How about any other draw notes without bending? Six draw is A, seven draw B, eight draw D, ten draw is A. They're all in the G major scale. So the only avoid notes for the draw notes are five draw and nine draw. I'm not talking about with bends or overblows. I'm just saying straight ahead draw notes. Five draw and nine draw they are your avoid notes and this is big news if you're a blues player because those notes are very bluesy and so you're probably used to using those notes all the time you know you mean right it's not gonna fly in major music or if it does it's because your risk paid off now what about the blow notes are there any bends that are in this scale. Nine single bend and ten single bend. Tough to play, but they're there. How about the draw notes? Any bends that are in this scale? Two single bend. We don't often think about two single bend, but it works great in G major or in second position major. Three double bend. How about any overblows? Five overblow. How about any overdraws? No overdraws. So, we're going to focus on all the blow notes. We're going to focus on all the draw notes, but holes 5 draw and 9 draw. For bends, we're going to play 2 single and 3 double. And for overblows, 5 overblow. And that's our home base. It doesn't mean that we can't play other notes, but those are the notes that are guaranteed to sound good. So. I've set up, um, set up my uh, uh, thing that rhymes with sand in the crotch um, to play the same rhythm that I did for the key of C. Now, if you remember, in the key of C, we used the chords C, F, and G. So what chords are we going to use in the key of G? Well, in the key of C major, C is the first note, F is the C fourth note and G is the fifth note. 
So we need to look at the G major scale and find the first, fourth, and fifth note. G is the first note. G, A, B. C is the fourth note. D is the fifth note. So G, C, and D are the names of the 1, 4, and 5 chord. And we're going to tell the computer to play that rhythm progression. Remember, the order of the progression is going to go G, or the 1 chord, for 2 bars, C, or the 4 chord, for 2 bars, G, for 2 bars, D, or the 5 chord, for 2 bars, G, for 2 bars, C, for 2 bars, G, for 1 bar, D, for 1 bar, G, for 1 bar, D, for 1 bar, and then we're going to repeat. So, here I go, a little bit of jamming in cross harp major. G major scale on a C harp or cross harp major scale for any harmonica that you have. I'm going to throw in some bends. I'm going to throw in five overblow. music. Oh, you know what? I'll let it fly for a little bit let you go. And one more time. Okay, so next time we'll talk about how to transpose a song from the key of C, straight harp, to the key of G, cross harp, or in general how to transpose any song from one key to another. Alright, thanks very much. See you soon.